hey guys in this tutorial we're going to be connecting our <coughs> excuse me connecting our custom interior to Skyrim because I've got a heap load of requests recently I mean look at that inbox it's packed out so I'm going to be connecting our custom house or your environment to Skyrim and bear with me because I literally had to learn this stuff in within like 20 minutes because everyone, quite a few people were requesting it ahead of schedule so yeah it's relatively simple I'm not going to teach you how to do the nav mesh, finalizing the nav mesh I'm simply going to teach you how to you know create a load door alright so we're going to go into interiors and we're going to load our custom environment so mine's player house so load this up and now you're gonna find okay I've already done it but I'm gonna delete this okay let me just fix this up okay 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 we're back so I'm derping out at the moment what am I doing Interiors. Oh, for God's sakes. Interiors. Load. In my case, it's a farmhouse, so I need to choose a load door. So. I'm not sure about what your door is going to be called if you've done a cave or something. so you'll need to find that out for yourself um, I'm not too sure about the naming scheme it's either called load door or L door I believe why does it have to play up alright so farm house L door yeah okay so on the interior drag out farmhouse L door 01 rotate that now you're just going to put it in the doorway don't put it too close to the door because otherwise when this opens it's animated when it opens you will see the door behind it so yeah just there is fine now what you're going to do is you're going to go to world space and then search for Tamriel and basically these are all the cells of the world um, this is useful co for coordinates you know if you already know where you want to place it find the coordinates, enter them. In my case I'm going to be putting it in Riverwood so I'm just going to go Riverwood 06 and ah oh god Riverwood 06 oops oops shift F to focus and now what you want to do is build an exterior you know, a visual reference for your home or cave, or you can just drop a door there for testing. I'm going to quickly drop a farmhouse building. So now this is loaded, I'm going to find farmhouse. It doesn't really matter, this is just for testing purposes. Too big, too big, massive. Alright, this is good enough just for testing, and I'm going to drop this down. It doesn't really matter because it's not perfect, but yeah. Now you're going to choose a load door again. Farmhouse L door one, and you're going to drop this and put it in front of your house again. So now you've got two load doors, and you need to find a way to connect them up. So right click on your first load door in Tamriel, edit, and you're going to get the reference window. Click on teleport and make sure the checkbox is ticked. Keep this window up, and now you're going to go back to your 
in areas. and load your cell. So I'm loading Playhouse. Now let me shift F to get a better view. Now you're going to use this button here, link door select for reference in Warenda window. Click on this and then when it goes white over your load door double click and you're going to then press OK. You're going to get a little yellow box and this is basically the trigger that lets you load so if I save this out actually in um, the editor if you edit the yellow box it says view door reference and this means it's going to view the other side of the door in this case it will teleport me to the wilderness and what the fuck um, I don't know what yeah anyway yes yeah, so there's my door and now it load player house so if I test this save this out it should I've done it correctly because I'm kind of in a rush at the moment. It should load up fine. Okay, so here we are at the main menu. Open up the console, tilde, center on cell, player house. Here we are in our lovely little house. And then there we go. Door ah! turned into Skyrim. Ah, I'm stuck inside the door. But yeah, it works. I promise you it works. And then we can go back in. Let me see. COC River Wood. Let me try it. Oh, it worked. Alright, so now I have to find my door quickly. Where is it? Alright, yeah, so there's our little house. Just on the street to Riverwood, which is just down there. There we go, there's Riverwood down there. Now the door works perfectly fine. Except, yeah, I placed the marker in a bad place, so you know I just get stuck in the floor. So there we go. Now we're in our house. There we go. And that's how you set up a door. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, I've only covered making a load door and connecting it to Skyrim. In a later tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to, you know, um, change the name of the door and also make it discoverable so you can fast travel to it but that's going to be in a later tutorial um, check out the creation kit website because this video was kind of rushed so I apologize and I think the quality is kind of bad because I had to drop it to like 200 megs out of 50 gigs um, so yeah subscribe and that way you'll keep up with any later tutorials that I make thanks for watching